The coronavirus pandemic is forcing India's children out of school and into farms and factories to work, worsening child labor problem that was already one of the most dire in the world, a report. Even before the outbreak, India was struggling to keep children in school. A 2018 study by DHL International estimated that more than 56 million children were out of school in India. More than double the combined number across Bangladesh, Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines. The cost of India's economy in terms of lost productivity was projected at $6.79 billion or 0.3% of gross domestic product. Of those children not in school, 10.1 million are working either as a main worker or as a marginal worker, according to the International Labour Organization. In India, home to more young people than any other country in the world, this lost generation of children will have substantial effects on Asia's third largest economy, lower productivity and earning potential unrealized tax revenue, increased poverty levels and pressure for more government handouts. The Indian constitution provides free and compulsory education for all children in the age group of 6 to 14 as a fundamental right. Moreover, the law on child labor prohibits employment of adolescents between the age of 14 and 18 from working in any hazardous or dangerous occupations. The same law bars children under the age of 14 in any form of occupation except as a child artist or in a family business. But during corona times, children may be seen as a stopgap major to fill the jobs left vacant by migrant laborers who fled the cities for their rural homes during the lockdown. Global child labor has been gradually declining in the past two decades, but the COVID-19 pandemic threatens to reverse that trend. According to the ILO, as many as 60 million people are expected to fall into poverty this year alone, and that inevitably drives family to send children out to work. A joint report by the ILO and United Nations Children's Fund estimates that a 1 percentage point rise in poverty leads to at least a 0.7 percentage point increase in child labor. Indonesia, the world's fourth most populous nation, is another country that will see large numbers of children from vulnerable families dropped out of school and into the workforce. The ILO estimates about 11 million are at risk of being exploited as child laborers under current conditions, especially in the less developed eastern part of the country like Sulawesi Islands, Nusa, Tengara and Papua. Bureau report.